Good afternoon, I'm Eric Paulson. Thank you for joining us today. This morning, Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser was on hand as experts with the State Museum started pulling out the contents of a time capsule. It was buried inside the base of the old PGT Beauregard Monument. Just last month, the massive base of the monument that stood in front of City Park was taken down, and that's when they found the time capsule. And time was not kind to that time capsule, which was put there more than 100 years ago. Our Jacqueline Quinn was there to witness firsthand the big reveal this morning. You are looking at the box, the time capsule that was underneath the P.T. Beauregard statue. It was put there back in November of 1913. And just so that you can see some of the contents here, uh, there's money here. This is a state $5 bill, uh, actually a sheet of it. Uh, you also have a guidebook right here. Uh, I'm told that inside of this is a flag. Uh, so a lot of um, books and um, ribbons right here. And you see more money here. Just uh, they pulled this out, put this on the table, and then you have another flag here. It's unclear whether that's the American or the Confederate flag that they put in there at the time. But these are the things that restorers say that you know were important to the people. They wanted to give us uh, a taste of life back then, and that's why they chose some of these items. Earlier, we had a chance to talk with one of the restorers, and she explained this process of how to uh, restore things that have been in there for so long. First thing is to open it out as much as we can to document it in its current condition and then decide uh, we'll probably do treatment as condition and then treatment assessments so that everyone will know exactly what we have, what state it's in now, and what is our professional opinion on what needs to be done to preserve it for the future. So uh, restorers are really going to have to spend a lot of time drying this out, they say, and uh, that will take uh, a period of time before a lot of this can go on display. A lot of people are excited about that, but that has to be done first. And then they tell us that they're hoping to uh, put this somewhere, perhaps all over the state, but that's undetermined at this time. So we'll have more for you coming up later. For now, reporting in the French Quarter, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News.